A man of mass 80 kilograms stands in an elevator of mass 400 kilograms. The cable of the lift has a tension of 5,028 newtons. Find the reaction of the man and the floor of the lift. Okay, Newton's third law of motion states, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. So, treating the man and the lift as one object and letting the acceleration be A, we're treating it as one object, then the reaction forces between the man and the floor are internal and can be ignored. So, resolving vertically this way, okay, so we're going to have 5028 minus 400 plus 80, so that's the uh, mass of the lift and the mass of the man, lots of G is going to be equal to MA, so that the mass is going to be, total mass is 400 plus 80 times A. Rearranging that, we're going to have that 5,028 minus 480 G is equal to 480 A, and therefore A will be 5,028 minus 480 G divided by 480, which gives, using G of 9.8 meters per second squared, gives it an acceleration of 0 0.675 meters per second squared. Now, if we want to find the reaction of the man and the elevator, so picture, the man only weighs 80 grams, its reaction will be upwards. Then, resolving vertically, R minus 80G will be equal to the mass, which is 80, times the acceleration, which we just calculated to be 0 0.675, which is going to be, R is going to be 80 grams plus 80 times 0 0.675, which gives 838 newtons. Alternatively, we can just consider the forces acting on the lift. We've got, so we've got this force acting up here, we've got these forces acting downwards. This reaction will act, react downwards due to Newton's third law, because Newton's third law says the reaction of the floor and the man is equal and opposite to the reaction of the man on, of the, man on the floor. This will be an equal reaction. So, alternative method, having calculated the acceleration, consider the forces just acting on the elevator. So we've got resolving vertically this way. We've got 5,028 acting upwards, and then we've got to subtract from it the reaction of the man minus the uh, weight of the lift, which is 400 times g. And that's going to be equal to the mass of the lift times uh, 0 0.675 which was the acceleration which again will give R as equal to uh, simplifying we're going to have 1008 minus 400 times 0 0.675 which is going to give me the same answer as before 838 newtons.